What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Criterion Corner. This is the segment on my channel where I highlight films in the Criterion Collection, whether that be in the physical collection or on the streaming service. And today I'm going to be talking about a film that I've been wanting to watch for quite some time now. This is like a staple in the Criterion Collection. I feel like when you look at film history as a whole, especially in the animation medium, this is one of the films that is consistently highlighted. I was really looking forward to watching it, and the film I'm going to be discussing today is Fantastic Planet. Fantastic Planet is directed by Rene Lalou. On the planet Yagam, the drags, extremely technologically and spiritually advanced blue human humanoids consider the tiny alms human beings descendants of Terra's inhabitants as ignorant animals those who live in slavery are treated as simple pets and used to entertain drag children those who live hidden in the hostile wilderness of the planet are periodically hunted and ruthlessly slaughtered as if they were vermin so as I said very excited to watch this movie because I know the importance of the film and the animation medium and how this film is discussed and unfortunately, I didn't love it. I respect the hell out of it. I feel like the animation style that is used in this film was just miles above a lot of things in this era. It just really was pushing boundaries, did something super surreal and abstract and strange and unique. Every frame of the film, I was so just kind of enthralled by what I was watching. But unfortunately, the script that accompanies the film doesn't do it enough justice, in my opinion. And it's trying to say something, but I feel like at the end of the day, it's much more a film about showing off this animation style than really packing a very intense emotional punch, at least for me and how I interpreted the source material. So you got that long plot description. We're introduced to this race of people called the drags. They're these blue creatures that are really unique looking. It's almost like they have gills for ears. They have really like big eyes. The way they're animated is so unique and each one of them looks a little bit different and it's really cool how you can tell each one of them has a very different personality. They're giants and at the same time we're introduced to the Oms, which are like the humans in the film and they're little teeny tiny compared to the drags. And in the film you have one of the drags finds a little baby Om after the mother is killed by one of the drags that it's with and it wants to take the the Om and raise it. The film kind of looks at like the two species living separately. They're in the same plane but they're living separate existences and the drags really look down on the Oms and don't really see them as people and so the, the big emotional punch of the film is supposed to be like yes these two people live separately, but they can cohabitate. They can live together in harmony. They can set aside their differences. But the problem is, is those elements of the film are looked at for such a small fragment of time that it's really hard for that emotional punch to kind of resonate through the entire runtime of the film. And really what you're introduced to is you have those two groups of people and there's immense amounts of detail in the animation. I absolutely adored the animation style in this. And there was always like new creatures being introduced and new things and technology that they were using that wasn't really necessarily explained to you, but was just cool to watch and see how it kind of interacted with the environment and it's it's so easy to become immersed in this world and just kind of watch what's going on and be enthralled by how incredible this animation is which I see why this film is so heavily regarded because of how absolutely mesmerizing the animation is just every second something new was happening and it's accompanied by this relatively chaotic score and I really liked a lot there's some mellower moments but I really love the way that the score is incorporated into the film and it kind of amps up certain scenes to keep you even more engaged and in the film which is what I like because this has a very brief runtime I want to say it's under an hour and 15 minutes might even clock right around the hour and 12 minute mark which was really impressive what they were able to accomplish with the animation medium in that time frame but really what this movie reminded me of in more recent sense is the film Mad God from Phil Tippett which I thought was one of the most beautiful stop motion animation films I've ever seen but when it comes down to the substance of the film and like taking something away Mad God was very similar to Fantastic Planet for me where I'm watching this thing I realize I'm supposed to be really immersed in 
this story, but I was getting less out of that and more just out of the visuals. The visuals were controlling how I felt about the movie, how invested I was. But if you, but for me, it would take a very specific set of circumstances for only visuals to keep me engaged. I need some kind of narrative through line to hold it together for me. I'm all for beautiful visuals and I'm all for incredible cinematography, especially in the animation medium. With this film and knowing the credibility of Fantastic Planet, I just expected a hell of a lot more and it didn't deliver in that regard. And I will say, I am looking forward to revisiting this film sometime in the future because maybe on repeat viewings, I might get more out of it once I know exactly what I'm in for. I really had no idea what I was in for other than the poster for the film that I've seen a million times. And like I said, the animation style had me completely engaged. I just didn't feel a whole lot other than, wow, that's really pretty animation. And I expected a lot more from a movie that is considered a classic, but I don't think it's bad by any means. I 100% think if you're a film lover or an animation lover that this is 100% a film in the medium that you need to watch. So have you seen Fantastic Planet? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was really beautiful to look at. I thought the animation was mesmerizing. It's very surreal and abstract. But other than that, it didn't do a whole lot for me when it came to the script. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.